As we reach the many different milestones through our life, the transitions can sometimes be challenging. Our next speaker will be sharing his greatest challenge. This is his practiced vocal variety speech. His title is, I don't know how. Help me welcome up, Charlie. Yesterday was my birthday. Yeah. I was 83 years old. 83 years old. I get it. That's really old. And now the problem I have now that I'm officially old is I don't know how to do it. I'm Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and our guest. You know, I had a dilemma, and I had a little glimmer of this last week. And a group of us, we were sitting around, and we were laughing, and we we're telling raunchy jokes, and Susan comes up to me and says, when will you ever learn to act your age? Now, I don't normally put much stock in what Susan says, mainly because Susan doesn't like me. <laughs> she thinks I'm a bad influence on her husband. And I just hope that I am, because he <laughs> needs some excitement in his life. <laughs> but being, you know, the geeky analytical person I am, it's hard to ponder. Where does a person learn to act their age? You know, is there some universal scale that you can go to and look up your age and say, oh, this is how you're supposed to act? And what about when you get old? You know, is there a handbook that says, how are you supposed to be old? And I didn't know. But there must be something. I mean, lots of other people get old and somehow they figure out what to do. Why do I not have, know how to do that? So then I said, well, I gotta go on a mission. I've got to find this out. Well, where do you go to find things out? To the great knowledge base in the sky, Google. <laughs> and so what do I do? I type in. Handbook, it's instructional for old age. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Hmm. Well, you know, maybe old people don't know how to do Google. And maybe that's <laughs> not anything there for that. You know, maybe that's it. I'll, I'll try something new, something different. And I go in and I try some of the things and I'm getting nothing. And after spending some time, well, all I can get is a handbook on Medicare and all of the terrible things that can go wrong with you that Medicare covers <laughs> and how to write a will so that your children will have the benefit of all your assets to spend when you're gone. I'm sorry, kiddos. I'm going to spend all my assets myself. You're out of luck. But I keep trying and I get nowhere. And this is very frustrating. I need a new approach. You know, at this time, I've figured out, you know, perhaps I shouldn't have thrown away all those letters from AARP that I got in the mail. <laughs> they probably would have been successful. Give me some insight in what I'm doing. Now, where am I going? Well, as I'm driving to the gym, I go by the Woodford County Senior Citizen Center. Ah, I'm a senior citizen. How come I don't know what goes on in there? I don't know anything about this place. 
And I'm going to tell you, as soon as I can find a clear place in my schedule, I'm going to go in there and see what I can find out. <laughs> I've even surveyed some of the few remaining old people that I know. You know, and they were just so kind of vague. The only thing that they agreed on was don't hang out with annoying people. I'm saying, well, that's no help. I mean, what kind of wisdom is that? It's got nothing to do with old age. I've lived that way all my life. I don't hang around with any ignoring people. So anyway, I'm just kind of perplexed over this whole thing. You know, I want to do this right. As far as I know, I only get one chance at this. You know, there, there, there's no do-overs. What happens if I don't do this right? Will it take away my Medicare? Will I not get senior discounts anymore? Well, the scariest thing am I destined to hear from Susan for the rest of my life? When are you ever gonna learn to act your age? <sighs> I'm really having a problem with this. So I have to tell you, I've decided to maybe defer this project. We'll put it off for a little while. What's the big hurry? Who, who keeps score here anyway, right? You know, tonight I made it to the lectern. I didn't have to have a walker to get me here. I got all my pieces and parts that I came with. Right <laughs> over there is my sweet young thing bride. You know, life is good. You know, I think what I've decided is I'm going to ignore that birthday. I'm not going to participate in that. Now, Sunday, does that mean I have to send back that card? <laughs> and Susan, I am going to be any age that I want to be. And you tell your husband to meet me down at Clancy's Beer Garden because it's five o'clock somewhere. 